So I'm going to talk to you about using the serenity prayer for your holidays. Now, what is a serenity prayer? I used it a lot when I was in recovery, and it's one of my favorite prayers to say, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There is so much wisdom and, and so many tools in that serenity prayer. The serenity prayer was uh, believed to have been written and delivered in a sermon in 1943 by Reinhold Niebuhr, who was an ordained pastor in the evangelical church. 12-step groups have used it. All kinds of people use it. Like I said, I absolutely love it. So let's break it down. First of all, it says God. So we're talking to a higher power or God um, and asking him to grant us grant me the serenity. So when you get a grant, somebody's giving you something, but you have to do something in order to get it. It just doesn't automatically flow to you. So let's say you were going to apply for a grant to um, for a project that you were going to work on uh, for research. You would actually fill out the paperwork and do your part to um, apply for the grant. So you're going to God and you're saying, I'm going to do something in partnership with you to ask you to give me serenity. God, grant me the serenity. Okay, serenity. What is serenity? Serenity is calm, peace, tranquility, an absence of turmoil. So if that sounds impossible for you in the holidays, which many times it's been impossible for me, but not anymore, uh, it, it is possible for you to not have the turmoil within your soul and your being, no matter what people around you are doing. So God, grant me the serenity, that calmness, that inner peace, that lack of turmoil. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Now there's where the action part comes in, the action where you have to do something. You're gonna ask God to partner with you, but you're gonna do something. You're gonna work on accepting the things you cannot change. Whoa, that is so huge. It took me a long time to work on that, but it's awesome. When you don't accept, it's like you say, when, when somebody gives you something and you accept it, you put out your hand and you take it. You say, okay, I accept that, it's mine. I'm going to take it. So I'm gonna accept the things I can't change. I'm gonna quit trying to force people to be different. I'm gonna quit wishing and hoping that they were different. I'm gonna quit trying to control them and manipulate them into being different. I'm gonna stop that. I'm just gonna say, what is my reality? What are the things that I have to accept that they are the way they are. I'm not going to waste all that energy and that, that inner turmoil trying to force them to be different. So accept the things I cannot change. The courage, courage, the, the, the ability to take a risk, the ability to step out and do something, the courage to change the things I can. To change the things I can, what are they? Are those people? No. Are those people's personalities? No. Is that the past? No. Is that your difficult, dysfunctional family? No. What are the things that you can change? Okay, and then the wisdom to know the difference. Wisdom means that you have the ability to discern what is right, to discern those things that can be changed and cannot be changed. And, you know, to a certain extent, it's not that hard because when you know you can't change people, places, things, the past, personalities, addictions that other people have, opinions that other people have, uh, ways that other people have of doing it, of doing certain things, uh, beliefs that other people have. None of those things are within your power to change. All of those things are within your power to change within you. So let's talk about applying the serenity prayer to just your holidays, to your Christmas, your Christmas get together, your, your choices of what you're going to do over the holidays. So you're going to say, God, grant me the serenity. So grant me that inner calmness and that peace to know during this holiday season, what are the things that I can change? I can't change those things first that I can't change the people, all the things that are going on. And then you know what? What choices do I have with things that I actually can change? Pretty simple. I can change where I go. I can change who I'm around. I can change how long 
I stay there. I can change who I decide to give gifts to and how much. I can change what I want to do. I can change how I interact with people. I can change what I think about people. I can learn to detach from people. I have choices to set boundaries. I don't have to react when people do certain things or say certain things to me. I can control what happens in my home. I can control who comes into my home. I can control what comes into my home, whether I want alcohol or not at a party. Guess what? That's a lot. That's a lot of things that you can change over the holiday season. So you can find that serenity. You can take that serenity prayer and say, God, grant me the serenity this holiday season to change the things that I can, but to let go of those things that I can't change. And where I'm lacking wisdom and insight and and the ability to see that clearly, God, bring that to me. So I'm going to wish you a very Merry Christmas, and I'm going to wish you the wisdom that you need to figure out those things that you can change and cannot change so that you can have a very serene and peaceful Christmas. Now, Merry Christmas to you, and I'll tell you, a Happy New Year. I pray and hope that things will continue to be different for you in the new year as you continue to apply that serenity prayer to your life every single day. It has made a tremendous difference in my life, and I wish that for you too. Thank you for watching this video on Change My Relationship.